Sup big boys, this is the most important video that you will ever witness. So strap on your strap on white people because in case you didn't know, I'm broke right now. I wasted all my money on drugs. Yes, I've been addicted to hardcore drugs in the past like Pepto-Bismol and Tylenol. I also owe over $30,000 in taxes. You see, I dropped out of school early and didn't pay attention in my economics class. I didn't know I was supposed to follow in my earnings and pay some of it in taxes. And on top of that, my mom is very sick right now. She's suffering from this disease called obesity. It's a common disease over here in America, where almost everyone is fat and they're responsible for their health and well-being. My mom is so fat that it takes her a century to turn around. My mom is so fat that Casey Tron doesn't look fat at all in comparison. My mom is so fat that everyone fat shames her. In fact, my friends tell me all the time, Yo, Bordick, your mom kind of looks like Greg S. And she actually does. She has the facial hair and everything. Another thing about my mom is she orders everything off the McDonald's menu. This gives me so much stress and anxiety because she doesn't work since she's fat. So I'm the one who's left to pay for all of her garbage. And that's why I'm making a Patreon. I'm essentially asking you to pay for my mom's fat food. And if you do, then I'll let you come on my face. My mom being fat isn't all that bad though. It has its perks like my mom happens to be an illegal immigrant. Which means once Donald Trump gets elected, she's getting deported right away. Funny thing is, they can't because she's too fucking fat. They will need like 10 helicopters to carry that slut out of here. And I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> what else I wanted to talk about? Riot Games? Yeah, I hate those cunts. I hope they all commit a gosu. And to my new viewers out there, you probably didn't know this, but some autistic YouTuber who goes by the name of Narzis tried exposing me a couple months ago, saying that I sleep with underage pussy. I hate to admit it, but I do. The last underage pussy that I slept with is a cat I named Oprah, who left me a while back. It made me really sad, so I wrote a couple dumb tweets. Oh wait, those aren't stupid. Those are just funny. All I ever wanted to do is to support myself and my imaginary girlfriend by baking dang cancerous videos. And I can't do that anymore since YouTube's broken algorithm has changed. They promote consistent uploaders like Leafy is Queer. And since I don't have the drive and passion to adapt, I'm forced to make a Patreon so I can keep making quality content that I'm proud of. So please rescue me from this nightmare and feed my fat mom. Well, thanks for listening to my story. God bless you, atheists. Well, someone tried to expose us, and in that same video, they accused me of sleeping with underage girls. I do drugs, and I rape 12-year-olds. Well, it turns out... This was during the part of my life where, and if you're new to my channel, I'm sorry that you have to hear this. I had a problem with substances, harder substances. I do drugs and I rape 12 year olds.